So, almost drowned this month. Right now with the month of March over, we are fully into autumn. The weather looks like it has finally settled. We've had almost a week now with no rain, which has been pretty incredible this summer. We haven't gone that long since pre-Christmas. I've been vlogging like crazy as usual on Access TV, and the reference to drowning before was, of course, a dive on just the other day. We went out to Carwell Bay, and I got a huge kingfish, and my line hooked over my belt, and um, basically the priority switched from catching the fish to not drowning, because if that fish runs, big, big, big fish, it pulled me under twice already. If it runs, it pulls me down, and I can't get off my line. Um, the learning curve with the spearfishing, because we were all relatively new to it, has very steep, like pretty much everything I do, I just tend to go in, flip and grab the ball by the horns and just go hard. So we've gone from really very little experience to jumping out of boats and hitting big fish and all sorts of stuff. Um, there's lots of vlogs up on Access TV, as well as of course we did, I did touch on the shark experience last month. I, we have seen a shark several times since, I'm actually going spearfishing straight after I film this and may see another one. Um, I've been getting some very good feedback from the spearfishing community regarding my spearfishing edits so you can get along to this main channel of course check the spearfishing um, the shark experience video because that was sort of trying to film and make it feel like a mini doc and us telling the story as well as a spearfishing massacre they are both up on that channel so you can see them here one thing I do find interesting is the different difference with the communities. Now, I've obviously dealt heavily with skimboarding throughout the years, and that community itself is very unresponsive. It, you don't get much hype. I'm not. It's part and parcel to do with like we're not providing, you know, not creating really viral content, but the. The overall community seems fairly dull and fairly uninterested. That's just my opinion, that's just what I see, but I can post similar content to like a spearfishing forum and get four to five hundred views on a video in a day. I don't even get four hundred and four to five hundred views on any skimboarding related content, which to me just says a lot about the community that's that um, is, is involved with it and I would like to get a lot more involved with pa uh, passionate communities such as the Spearfisher community. One huge development over the last month and something that's been a long, long, long time coming is of course Tug Winches. We are finally up and running, a lot more development to do but we've been getting some sessions in, trying to work it out. The speed of the new winch is very good, the drums are lighter so the, they pull you up to speed just like you wouldn't believe, where I'm actually being surprised at the, just the spool up of the speed and and the, the operation of the winch, the winch is lighter because it's a composite build, it's all been done in-house as you may or may should already know. We're going to be detailing the winches in full detail on this channel very shortly but you can get a course but you can of course get along to Access TV and find out some of the build and specs and all the sorts of things that have been happening on that channel. Uh, what's coming up? I'm going to be continuing with winch development. I've got a new fair lead on the way which will probably be here by the time this video goes up. So we're going to be tutoring with that because the whole idea of what I originally had in mind hasn't really worked as well as what we were hoping but that's what r and is for. I'm going to go to a bit more of a traditional fair lead um, as well as put some wheels and just some little bits and bobs to make it more user friendly. So, And then of course into building another winch or two. A podcast. Now this is something I have basically toyed with the idea for years really I haven't taken it seriously I didn't know what was sort of really involved I've got the video gear and a friend that has all the audio recording equipment so this is something we're seriously looking at and we're not sure of the format the structure nothing yet um, because nothing's been really put in place but seeing we have all the recording here to do it we're thinking of doing a video podcast as seen like the Joe Rogan experience I watch his a lot. I also watch uh, Jared Polan which is a photography based podcast and it just seems like a good fun way to get your opinions out, share views, anything basically. It will not be PC, it will not be a stiff politically correct podcast, you can guarantee that. So anyone out there if you would like to be involved with that you can drop me a line and come get involved because we're looking to film this first one hopefully pretty soon. Um, that's it for the month of March. It was a crazy month. We are now into April and the barrier is coming up very, very soon. So stay tuned for all the development, everything that's going to be happening. Of course, jump along to Access TV and find it all in more real time. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Sam Price. I will see you at the beach.